this fall we'll be celebrating the 50th anniversary of the California International Sculpture Symposium, which was the first sculpture symposium held in the United States, and it was actually held on our campus in 1965. We're also working on a major conservation initiative, and we're doing that in partnership with the Getty Conservation Institute, who has donated not just funding, but also scientific expertise and in-kind work to help with the conservation. We're also working with a firm called Rosa Lowinger and Associates. We actually have completed one piece, and uh, that is Robert Murray's homage to David Smith, which is located right outside of the bookstore. And what we were used to seeing is this very dark orange color. But uh, as we excavated down 13 layers of paint, we found that the artist's original paint color was more of this kind of creamy yellow color. The piece on 7th Street is by an artist named Jupe Beljean, and it's titled Homage to Sam Rodia. It was one of the original pieces created for the 1965 Sculpture Symposium and literally the largest piece on the campus. We started looking at that piece again because of the painted surface of that. Uh, one of the things that we were finding, underneath the paint, there is a fungus that's growing. And so they're addressing the fungal issue and uh, they're also looking at the painted surface. We did photo documentation, we washed the sculpture, uh, we removed layers of flaking over paint, uh, underneath those layers of paint were biological growth, so we did some remedial uh, work to get rid of that. And then we prepared the surface for the process you see here, which is priming and then followed by painting the sculpture again. My understanding is that originally the artist wanted to use white concrete, but it wasn't available for financial reasons. So we used gray and then it was whitewashed, which is why we're putting on a white surface again, because that's what the artist had originally intended. Like anything in this world, they need maintenance. So uh, that's really what we're working with the University Art Museum and the University to try and get them on a routine maintenance schedule, get them back up to a place where they can be maintained. And it's really important for the longevity of the cultural heritage, just not of the university, but you know, for these mid-century artists.